how's it going everybody? I uh, just want to do a, uh, somewhat of a quick video here uh, on a new firearm I just purchased. I'm just uh, going to do a quick unboxing, uh, nothing special. I'm not going to do a review or anything, so if you're looking for a review, this ain't really it. Uh, I'm just going to go over some of the features of the gun, you know, what it doesn't and what it does have. Uh, I just picked it up today, not too long ago, not even probably about half an hour ago or so. Uh, just got home and uh, uh, basically just going to show the gun. Uh, basically as you would get it uh, from the store. I bought it at my local Dick's uh, for two ninety nine. It was about like three eighteen out the door, so I mean you can't beat it for uh, uh, you know, an AR fifteen look alike uh, chamber in twenty two. Right, so of course you get the gun which I'll set that off to the side. Uh, you'll get this which I'm not one hundred percent sure yet and like I said I just kinda got home and uh, didn't really check in anything. Didn't really, uh, to be honest, I haven't really checked out many videos for this gun. I just kind of, uh, uh, just kind of bought, a, bought this gun off the fly, you know. I just seen it and uh, uh, said, what the hell, you know. Uh, so that, I'm not real sure what it is. What it is. Uh, get your traditional uh, paperwork that you get with your, uh, any Mossbergs you buy. Uh, just your safety information type stuff. Uh, of course, your owner's manual uh, and uh, how to disassemble it and everything. Which uh, this gun is actually based off the insides are basically a uh, seven Mossberg 702 Plinkster, and basically they just put like a body kit over it for the most part. Of course, probably some different changes, but whatever. Uh, of course, then over here you just get your traditional uh, cable lock, which pretty much nobody probably uses and a 25 round capacity magazine which I thought was pretty cool and it's not like some lousy 10 rounder or something uh, at least you get some uh, capacity from the factory out of the box and you don't have to buy a high cap mag from the get go so so other than that that's basically the unboxing portion uh, it's pretty plain there wasn't nothing to uh, frills or nothing about the unboxing uh, and uh, basically now to the good stuff, to the gun. Uh, sorry for the bad video quality and lighting and everything. It's not the greatest. Uh, I'm just going to go through the back end to the front. Uh, buffer tube, quote unquote, not real, uh, not real buffer tube, of course, but uh, it is polymer. Uh, basically, almost this whole gun is almost polymer for the most part. Uh, ATI buttstock. Uh, I'm not sure yet if this can use traditional. Uh, retractable stocks for AR-15s. I will have to uh, check it out later on uh, once I start messing with this gun. I don't think you can. If you can, that will be awesome and I, in my opinion I think it will make this gun an even greater value uh, to be able to customize it and change, swap out butt stocks. Uh, again, not sure if you can yet, but whatever. Uh, it is what it is for the buddy. Even if you, you know, like meant, you know, if you had to stick with a stock, you know, can't beat it. Uh, it is retractable, has just all the different positions. Not sure on how many there is yet. Uh, but it does have different ones. So that's pretty cool. It is a working retractable stock. Pistol grip, uh, like, kind of like your traditional uh, A2 pistol grip and everything. Uh, of course, not exact. Uh, isn't hollow on the inside because, uh, of course, you don't need the screw that you know goes in. Trigger guard is uh, fixed to the gun, basically. You uh, can't swap it out for like an AFG. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of uh, angled vertical grip by Magpul. Uh, like for the Magpul uh, enhanced trigger guard, you can't do that. Uh, I believe this is the safety. Yep, that's the safety right here. Uh, bear with me. Like I said, you know, I didn't really check up on this gun, so I really, I'm kind of really uh, new to this firearm. Uh, here's your magazine release. I'm pretty sure on, which is kind of goofy, but whatever. Uh, it does not have a forward assist or a shell uh, brass deflector. The charging handle is basically a look-alike, uh, or you know, not a look-alike, but uh, try to make it look like it's a charging handle, but it is uh, non-working. Uh, has the uh, removable uh, rear sight, which it does have your dual apertures. And uh, it is adjustable for 
elevation and windage, I believe. Uh, so as a uh, Picatinny rail, right on it's a flat top model. The other one I've seen at uh, Dunham's, uh, same price actually, and uh, had the fixed carry handle. And I don't think the barrel was, you know, had the muzzle brake. It was just a standard uh, barrel. Didn't have the uh, threads or nothing, so that was kind of gay. Uh, so this one, same price at Dick's, and uh, I says, why not? <laughs> actually, that that gun actually threw me off. You know, I didn't like it at all until I seen this one. And this one I thought was a lot nicer looking, just for the fact it is a flat top, and it does have the uh, muzzle brake and everything. Or not muzzle brake, but the flashlighter. Uh, so moving along, of course your traditional uh, bolt, carrier, whatever. Uh, imitation of a delta ring. Of course doesn't work. You cannot use different handguards. You're stuck with what you got here basically. Uh, all polymer uh, quad rail handguard. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm almost pretty sure you can use traditional, uh, any type of Picatinny uh, uh, accessories, you know, that fit a standard like on an AR-15. Um, not sure again, you know, but uh, pretty sure you can. And of course, your uh, rear sight, or I'm sorry, your front sight, also detachable, just with a little uh, thumb screw. And there's uh, the top of it. Of course, it looks like your traditional, actually, it looks like really like a uh, traditional uh, sight adjustment on top, which is kind of cool. So then you could use a AR-15 uh, sight uh, tool to adjust it. Um, of course, traditional uh, kind of pencil type thin barrel, you know, but hey, it's 22, doesn't matter. Uh, and of course, your uh, A2 uh, flash hider, which I'm pretty sure you can probably uh, replace it for different uh, flash hiders, which if that's the case, I think that will, again, make this a very higher uh, uh, value rifle for the money. So you can really customize it, you know, if you want to put a phantom uh, for a cage, or I mean, I'm sorry, but a phantom uh, flash hider you can. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's basically the, the rundown. I mean, there's nothing, you know, no special uh, features, you know, really. Uh, that does give you the 100% feel and controls of a real AR-15, uh, especially with the safety and the magazine release. Uh, of course, you don't have all the real features that you would on some of the, the nicer ones, like your Colts or your uh, your HK416 or your Smith & Wesson uh, 22 versions. Uh, not as nice as those. Of course, uh, the money is not nearly as much. Uh, you know, the Smiths are running around for something. Uh, this gun was like 318 out the door. I mean, really, the price you can't beat it. Again, I try to stick with the American-made stuff. You know especially nowadays. Uh, you know, this gun, even though it's Mossberg and it's basically an American-made company, uh, some of their guns aren't American-made. Uh, this one, in particular, uh, is actually made in Brazil. Uh, so, I mean, whatever. I mean, it sucks it's not American-made. But, uh, I mean, for the money, for what I'm going to use it for, I mean, it's just for a plinker to have it somewhat look like an AR-15. Uh, I was actually planning on getting a uh, dedicated 22 uh, upper for my AR-15. Uh, I wanted like the 20 inch, you know, that's one the one I really wanted. If this Mossberg, if they had one in 20 inch fixed stock, I would definitely would probably would have got it. Uh, but of course, Mossberg doesn't offer it, at least at this time. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, for the money, you can't beat it. Of course, I would, like I said, I would have rather, you know, went with the, you know, Smith version. At least it's American made, but uh, you know what? Oh well. Uh, for the money, you can't beat it. Eventually, I will change out the sights if you can use traditional uh, Picatinny, uh, you know, optics and, you know, all kinds of goodies. I will probably get the uh, Magpul flip-up sights because that's all you need for a 22. You know, you don't need no high-quality sights. Magpul flip-up sights probably like a, if they have a OD or maybe, I don't know, it all depends if I can get a different stock for it. Uh, and I'll change that out too. And then I got my knockoff of the aim point I'm going to actually use on here have that sighted in, and then if I could get those uh, Magpul sights to co-witness, and I think that would be pretty sweet. Uh, maybe some sort of a vertical grip, or maybe an AFG, not sure. Uh, but yeah, so that's just a quick uh, little video on the gun, so uh, unboxing, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.